What up, fellas? So a guy asked me a good question. He asked me, what do I usually do? Do I usually date or do I just, am I just strictly monk mode? I told him um, I usually pump and dump for the most part. A girl has to be really good in bed for me to consider keeping her in my, putting her in my rotation. And then he asked me the question that, so what about when you get old and you live in a house by yourself? Are you not going to be lonely? And guys, we get this question a lot. We, meaning us red pill aware men. And that's the main reason along with, you know, not being able to deal with people's, with, with, with chicks bullcrap. Or not wanting to deal with chicks bullcrap. Let me rephrase it that way. Those are the main two reasons why red pill men become purple pill. Now, fellas, <coughs> to answer the question in a short, to give you a short answer to that question, because I told him I'm going to make a video about it, about talking about it. To give you a short answer to that question, it's, it will be I don't know. Okay, I don't know. If I'm gonna want to settle down later in life, why is, is why is that the short answer? Because fellas, I'm 22 year old right now. What am I gonna? Where am I gonna be in life in when I'm 52? Do I know that now? No, I don't. Nobody does. Now, if all my plans, all the things that I plan, turn out the way how I planned, no, I'm never settling down. Because my plans are to become a multi-millionaire. And I know for a fact, if I'm a multi-millionaire, I don't have to settle down. I'm always going to have access to vagina. Younger, better than ever. I'm always, I'm always gonna have it. Now, do things turn out usually? How you plan them? For the most part, no. And that's why you always wanna look at the worst case scenarios. Worst case scenario, if I don't become anybody in life, then no, I'm not going to settle with anybody at that point. Why? Especially in the West, if I'm in the West. Why? Because I have bigger problems in my life to take care of. I need to make money. I need to stay stable. Right? I can't be worrying about who I'm slaying and who I'm dating and who I'm marrying when I don't even have my life figured out. But let's say that I have my life figured out, but it's just not to the to the level of where I want it to be at. Let's say I wanted to be a multimillionaire, but I ended up making $500,000 a year. Or let's just say even $100,000 a year, all right? Let's lowball it. If I make $100,000 a year and I'm 55 years old, it's a little it's going to be a little bit challenging for me to come to date a to date somebody who's in her 20s. Is it impossible? No, absolutely not. Why? Because as I'm getting older, my body is getting older as well. My, I'm not in my prime, my sexual prime, when it comes to look-wise, physical ability-wise in the bedroom. I probably won't be able to satisfy her as much either. So something else needs to compensate for that lack of that. What is it? It's either my money or status or both. So if my money is not growing and I cap out at $100,000 a year, then I need to look at options of settling. And my options are probably going to be women at the, over the age of 40s. That's if I want to live in the West. I have another option. It's cashing all my chips in, getting all my money out of the bank, banks here, and going living in a third world poor country. There I have more options of younger girls that I can settle with. And the marriage laws are not so much against men as they are here but what what are what's going to happen in the economy in the world economy when I'm 50s is still an unknown when I'm in my 50s is still an unknown right we don't know what's going to happen to these poor countries now in another what 30 years so that's another unknown that's, that, that, that I cannot answer as of right now 
That's why I said the short answer is I don't know. But these are my plans, okay? These, I have, like, I've obviously thought about it from my old days. That's really what I really think about all the time is how am I going to make money when I'm old? That's why I want to make all the money now and make the investments and businesses now for later when I can't work as hard, but I can still live off of what I made, what I made, what I created now. And that's how you guys should be thinking too, instead of living your nine to five for the rest of your life. But anyways, so guys, another aspect I want to bring up to answer this question is that I'm a man whore. My body count, body count is in the triple digits and I'm only 22. I'm not bragging. It's actually detrimental to me. That's what I'm wanna, I want to talk about. How? Because guys, I have gotten it so many times. I have had sex so many times with so many different women. I have that vast majority pool, pool of women to compare a new woman to. When a new woman comes in my life, now I have so many comparisons to make to her. Is her titties big enough? Is her ass big enough? Does she suck me off well? But can she take it well? Can she ride well? All different. I, I compare her to. A, I compare her at a lot of different levels. Most guys are not like that. Most guys don't have as many options as I had, and I have. So I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But to answer the questions for myself, that's why it's really hard for me to even think about settling with one girl. Because I know how easy it is for me as of right now to get access to vagina. Because I have game, I have looks, I have money. Obviously not the amount of money I want and, not the, not the, and I don't have the body that I want yet. I'm still working towards those goals, right? But with whatever I have, it's very, it's still very easy to me, for me. Most guys are not like that. Again, I get it, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, when you add all these components together, it becomes really hard for me to stay with only one girl. Why? Because when I see the smallest amount of crap from a girl when I when a girl starts giving me the smallest amount of crap the smallest amount of BS I automatically think about nexting her I automatically say you know what I have options I can get tons more options she's not even good at that this she's not no woman is perfect we know this see all some every woman ha, will have some sort of imperfections and that's what's gonna hit me in the, in my, in the back of my head and I'm, I'm gonna tell myself man this chick is crazy she think I'm gonna put put up with all her crap like this when she ain't even all that? And yes, it is very detrimental to me because I burnt out that fuse in my head to, I don't wanna say pair bond because if I really wanted and focused, I could pair bond with a woman because men have that capability even though, even though if, if, if a man sleeps with a thousand women, they can still pair bond with one. But I guess that, 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 that that, that fuse of tolerating BS is just burnt out in my head. Like, I have very, very, very low tolerance, if not any tolerance, for any kind of crap from women. Because I have seen the game for so long, and I've played the game for so long, and I'm still playing it. It's just not worth it. One woman and her crap is just not worth it. And I know that every single woman will give you crap because... No woman is perfect. Even Donovan Sharp's girlfriend, I'm sure he goes through some crap with her too. The girl who is the internet, internet um, perfect girlfriend, right? That we see that Donovan talks about that she always obeys of what he tells her to do. I'm sure that they still have their ups and downs. And I'm just not in an age and in a situation in my life to settle for anything like that. Doesn't matter how hot the chick is, doesn't matter how many qualities she has, how feminine she is, I'm just not ready. Why? Because fellas, I'm so young and I have so much potential. See, if you're a 40 year old man, you're a 45, 50 year old man, you don't have that much potential left in your life. Why? Because you don't have that much time left in your life. But I do. 
So I want to at least see how far I can take my life before I think about settling down. If I can actually make it to that top 1% of men, I will never settle down. Because as I said earlier in the video, I'll always have access to vagina. Now, let's talk about, I have two more big points I want to get through. Now let's talk about, is this going to make me happy or not? Sleeping with so many women, making money and blowing my money and not settling down. Is it going to make me happy? Fellas, this is where our purpose comes in. You see, if you look into, into this guy's life, if you really look deep into these guys' lives who, are, who have been married for 30 years, 20 years, 25 years, 15 years, you'll see deep down they're not actually happy. They have never found true happiness. They have never found their true purpose. They didn't know what to do with life. They didn't know how to find their purpose. That's why they went along with what everybody else around him told him to do because he thought that's the best thing for him to do. Why? Because everybody's doing it. So it must be the good thing, right? Since everybody's doing it. They had a sheep mentality. So just because you're having fun and banging chicks, different chicks every single night out, doesn't mean you're gonna be miserable. Doesn't mean you're gonna be happy either. It's just what makes you happy. You have to find that for your own self. And usually speaking, there are some guys out there who only become true happy, who only find true happiness through women, which is absolutely foolish to do, very stupid to do. But there are some guys out there who really enjoy that. But for the most part, you, you'll really find true happiness through your purpose, your, through creating something. That's why we always talk about finding your purpose. So I, even if I don't settle with a woman because I'm a multi-millionaire and I have so many different women to choose from, I can, I can still have my purpose in my life to settle down with. And I promise you, you that, 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 that nothing, that no woman in this world will make you as much fulfilled as your purpose will. That's my long answer for myself. Now let's talk about most guys. Because most guys don't have that many options with women. So what do you do? You marry your purpose. And when the time comes of, you know, I am with my purpose for so long, it, it, it's been paying me off, it's been doing great for great things for me, but I'm 55 years old. I'm 45 years old and I want to settle down and have a family. If that's really, truly deep down what you really want, you have options. But I always advocate to not get married in the West, especially when the marriage laws are so much against us, men. So what are your options? You can move out to another third world country, a poor country. Settle down there. If you don't want to do that, marry somebody and leave her there. Don't bring her here. If you don't want to do that, bring her here and keep her your slave. Bring. If you don't do want to do that, marry her there. And then bring her here, not through your spouse visa, but through another visa. And never get married to her here. And keep her always oblivious. But that's a lot of hoops you have to jump through but the optimal result like you know the optimal marriage situation the traditional marriage where you guys settle down get married you guys are both from here that's just not for our best interest anymore even though I know that purple pill is a lot of guys what they're going towards is purple purple pill because um, they just don't want to deal with women's bull crap anymore or they're tired of playing the game, it's still not the best to get married. Sure, you can probably live with a girl, but even then there's common law marriage, common law, uh, common marriage laws in some states. There's still loopholes that, that the woman can find. There's still holes that the woman can find in the law to get money out of you if you guys break up. 
It's not the fact that she will do something like this, fellas. It's the fact that she can is why you shouldn't invest into something like this. When you know that there's a 50% chance you'll lose all your money and all your investments into a business, would you invest into that business? It's the same concept. So that's what most men needs to do is find your purpose. Find your purpose in life. And I can't answer that for you. I don't know what your purpose is. You just have to go try out different things and see which one you really have a passion for. And stick to that. Don't try to put your feet into multiple boats. Just stick to one thing and excel at that and master at that. And then move on to something else. You know, as men, we always have this drive to go after something for our whole life. So that's why you'll see that entrepreneurs always keep working because they just have that different mindset of never stopping. So that's why you constantly need something to keep chasing after it. And once you get it, now you find another mountaintop to climb. But you never stop. And that's going to be more than enough reason to not get married, to not get settled. This guy, I think, left a comment saying, purple pill is the best way to do so, not MGTOW monk. Just because you go MGTOW does not make does not mean you're a monk. Monk is just an, just another uh, category of MGTOW. That's all monk mode is. MGTOW does not mean that you never sleep with women, you never deal with women. No, 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 no. It just means that you just don't deal with the bullcrap with of women. You live your own life. You have no strings attached to anyone. Nobody can hold you hostage for anything. You come and go as you please, just like how women say it. Just just like just just like how feminism give have given women the power to come and go as they please. I'm telling you that we men need to have that need to have that power as well. If we're trying to live a happy life. It's not about keeping your woman in line, letting her know that you have options, putting her in a scarcity mindset. It's not about any of that. No, 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 no. It's about you living a happy life, fellas. That's all it, what it comes down to. We all want to be happy. We all chase after happiness. But when you have to constantly go go through up and down, up and down in your, in your relationship with a woman, that's not happiness, fellas. You always want to go up in your life. Yes, there's going to be downfalls, but you always want to minimize those downfalls in your life. How do you do that? By making smart decisions into your business, into your work life, into whatever activity you're doing. But if you don't make smart decisions into only your life, you can control that and make sure you do make the smart decision the next time. But when you bring another woman into your life, you have another person, another complete set of set of idea, ideology, ideal, I can't even pronounce the word, a whole different set of ideas and morals that come with it with this person. So not only that, your decisions are, are impacted by your own morals and beliefs, but they're also imp impacted by that other person's. And that's just too much crap to deal with, to live a happy life. Sure, you guys are gonna have some good moments here and there, but the bad moments are going to outweigh the good ones by a long shot, I promise you, fellas. And I've already, I've already mentioned this once. I'm going to say it again. If you marry someone, there has to be sacrifices done. And the biggest sacrifice a man does when he marries someone is his manhood. He gives up his manhood. Automat inevitably, you have to give up your manhood because the state gives power to the woman, takes power away from you, and gives it to her because of the marriage laws, divorce laws. So inevitably, you give your balls away to her. I just can't live like that, fellas. I just, it's gonna give me nightmares. I, I'm not gonna be happy with a woman knowing that she has all the power. I'll never be happy with a woman like that. I'm always going to need some sort of confirmation and a mental peace in the back of my head letting me know that, hey, if I walk in on her cheating on me, or if something goes wrong, I still have the power of saving myself. I don't want power from her, okay? 
She's a in, strong and independent woman. In the 21st century, she goes and works, makes her own money. I don't, I don't want a single penny from her paycheck. All I want is to keep what I have and not give a dime away to anybody else. Just, the, just because we're legally contracted, legally bonded by a piece of paper. And if I ever get to that age of where, you know what, I need to settle down because my money's not growing and I'm growing older, I'll consider moving out of here. I'll consider living somewhere else where the marriage laws are not so much against me. But then maybe at that point in life, I'll be wanting something else out of life. People change. People go through changes. Alpha male strategies, AMS. Even he changed dramatically. If you look at his earlier content, all you'll see is fuck these hoes to sleep and toss them to the side of the road type of videos, right? Now what do you see? You don't need women. Enjoy your own company. Make money. Now it's kind of, he, he, in my opinion, he's producing more and more MGTOW videos now than back then. Why? Because he has all, he has, I believe, and I know that he has developed himself to that next mindset state of high value mentality. And how did he do that? He actually became high value instead of faking it. That's how it was easy for him to get it done to where now he just gives off a different energy. He just talks different. He just, his message is just a little bit different than what it was. He's still banging chicks. Yeah, I know that. But he finally understood that it's not about that. Maybe he understood this before he even started his YouTube, YouTube channel. Maybe. And he just wanted to make those early contents so he, so his name spreads quick and he makes a quick following based on that. Maybe. Why? Because that's all guys want. You guys want a, <clears throat> you guys want a quick fix. That's why he gave you the quick fix. So maybe he always knew it from the very beginning what he was doing. I don't know. But to me it just sounds like his latest contents is coming out to be more and more MGTOW stuff than it was back then. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Please correct me if I'm wrong. So people change, fellas. But the purple pill is a dangerous route. I feel like there's more cons to cons to a purple pill than, than pros. And the cons are always going to outweigh the pros for me. What it is for you, you have to find it out for your own self. I just want to give you my side of the perspective, my opinion on it, my uh, take on it. So to answer your questions, I hope I was able to answer your questions. If I'm married to my purpose, no, I'm not going to be lonely. I'm going to have plenty of things to do. I'm going to have plenty of people to hang out with, talk to, do whatever. And I'm going to have women coming out and banging me out. Even at 50s. Getting closer to my 60s. Yes. Yes, those, might, those women might be a little bit older. Maybe in their 40s, late 40s maybe. Because if I'm not making millions and millions of more dollars, maybe I'm not going to be able to date younger and younger. But I'll still be at least able to do date 40 and for, uh, 45 and... Late 40s, you don't think late 40 women are single? There are single late 40 women? Plenty of them, millions of them. And when you're a guy who makes $100,000, $200,000 a year, that's, that's like finding the next millionaire for a 40-year-old woman whose standards are low at, at the lowest of the low level. And I'm still, keep, I mean, I'm still going to be keep feeding them that hypergamy against I'm still going to be using that hy their hypergamy hy I can't talk today at all man I'm still going to be using their hypergamous nature against them even at that age why because I have found my purpose maybe my purpose wasn't able to make me millions and millions of dollars but it still gave me enough to live for the to live happily for the rest of my life but if I'm not even finding my purpose in life then I have way bigger things to worry about Till the day I die, then getting married and finding the one to settle with. Because even then, even then I'm not going to be happy. I'm in a mindset of red pill. I have so much red pill knowledge that I know for a fact that if I don't find my purpose, but if I do find a girl, that unicorn, who will never leave me, who's always submissive, who's a virgin, I still won't be happy with her. I will still feel empty in, with the deep, deep, deep within in myself because I haven't found my purpose. That's how important purpose is to me because that's how red-pilled I am. 
And that's how farther away I've gotten from that blue pill conditioning world. And I advise you guys do the same. Because that unicorn right there doesn't exist. So the women you're going to run into are going to literally destroy your life. So it's your purpose that's going to save it. I hope I was able to address a lot of the questions that you guys had about this. I hope I was able to make some things clear. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment box below. DM me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak, fellas. Ask me questions there. I check my DMs a lot more than my YouTube comments here. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.